First of all, we'd like to wish everyone a happy new year. Welcome to our first meeting of this new year. Call to order the Finance Committee meeting for January the 9th, the year 2023. <coughs> Before we get into tonight's official business, we have a retirement that we want to acknowledge at this time. I'm going to first uh, call Chief Tehe to come up and make comments about his retired officer. Uh, before Chief speaks, I would ask if Ms. Uh, Tammy Tracy would read a proclamation that has been left by our mayor. Uh, Tammy. Whereas we are here today to express special recognition to Lieutenant Devin Beach to honor him for his distinguished 35-year career with the City of Muskogee Police Department, and whereas Lieutenant Beach has proven himself to be, be a valuable asset to the City of Muskogee with his vast knowledge and experience, and whereas the City of Muskogee wishes to express its sincere appreciation to Devin for his dedication to the outstanding performance of his duties during his tenure, and whereas this proclamation is presented to Lieutenant Devin Beach to serve as a reminder that although he is retiring, he will always be remembered as a valued employee dedicated to both his position and our community. Now, therefore, I, Marlon J. Coleman, Mayor of the City of Muskogee, Oklahoma, and of our governing body and the citizens of Muskogee, do hereby present this proclamation to Lieutenant Devin Beach as a testimonial to the faithful dedication to serve and protect the citizens which he has performed for the past 35 years with our best wishes for continued success and happiness in the future. Thank you. Well, most of the uh, jokes we kept for the police party, so I won't go back over those. I'll just say one thing, a couple things. One is that it's always bittersweet as a, as a chief of police to lose any officer, uh, but it's especially uh, tough when you lose somebody that's got the experience and what Devin brings to the department uh, and brings to the city of Muskogee. Uh, but at the same time, it's always nice to have a, you know, the, they always talk about the life expectancy for police officers once they retire is not very good. So I always happy for them to be able to retire and enjoy life while they still have the opportunity. So um, I'll put in a quick plug for him as well. He's, he's opening up the skating rink. So uh, here before too long, you guys, yeah. You want to have your you want to have your birthday parties at the skating rink, so go out there and see him. But uh, it's been a pleasure. I've known Devin since oh, dang, I think I went to borrow a radar one morning early, early, and his sister actually answered the door and led to 20 years of being married. So uh, great family, great family there with him. I appreciate and love all you guys. So uh, congratulations, Devin. Uh, Happy for you, and uh, good luck in your new ventures. Thank you. If the council could join us down front, and if Lieutenant Beach will come and pre uh, receive the proclamation at this time, and we'll take a picture. This time we'll have our invocation followed by a flex suit if you'll stand at this time. Dear Lord, we come once again thanking you for the gift of a, another day. Thank you for the gift of another year. This asks that you just bless the city of Muskogee in this brand new year. Protect our citizens. Protect this council. Be with us tonight as we come together and we have decisions to make on behalf of our citizens. All that we do that we be pleasing to your sight, in your will, and in your way. These are many of the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Finance Committee. Item number one, please. 
Consider approval of Finance Committee minutes of December 5th, 2023, or take other necessary action. After reviewing the minutes, are there co any corrections or additions to our minutes? Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve our minutes. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item number one passes. Item number two, please. Consider approval of claims for all city departments November 26, 2022 through December 30th, 2022, or take other necessary action. We have a report from the Purchasing Committee. Yes, the Purchasing Committee did meet this afternoon and we approved the claims. I move for approval. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve our claims list. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Herlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item number two passes. Item number three, please. Consider approval to accept two grants from the Kirshner Foundation in the amount of $7,500 for the Park Development Fund for new and replacement signage for Honor Heights Papillion and the Arboretum Story Walk project and $6,000 for youth volunteer course to support the summer staff and transportation for the Camp Bennett project or take other necessary action. Brooke. Hi, good evening council. Um, I'm here for Mark. Uh, this is uh, annual funding that we receive from the Kirshner Foundation. We're excited to get these projects started. Uh, we just ask for your approval and I'm happy to answer any questions. Move for approval. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item number three passes. Item number four, please. Consider approval to apply matching grant funds for the Roxy Theater, totaling $2,564.68, or take other necessary action. Ms. Weezy. Good evening. This is a request from Roxy Theater and uh, the matching grant fund is an account that council has approved the last few years as part of our annual budget and staff recommends approval. Second. Move for approval. Second. Second. All right. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. <coughs> item number four passes. Item number five, please. Consider approval to purchase security cameras and electronic door access to public works building in the amount of $43,381 or take other necessary action. Hello, Chris. committee. Um, so back in November, uh, this was part of uh, the special projects list that was approved by council at that time. We had been looking at this. Uh, Public Works <clears throat> houses not only equipment that we use for streets for sanitation and, and other such, but also personnel. So what we're looking at doing is adding security cameras to uh, watch the equipment there to uh, help prevent any, any theft or, or damage to that equipment. and. <clears throat> door access to protect our employees. And that is in uh, $43,381. And I can answer any questions. Any questions for Chris? Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item number five passes. Item number six, please. Consider approval to retire and surplus the police department canine Loki and allow the current handler, Officer Tyler Griffith, to take position of said canine or take other necessary action. Chief Teehee. Once again, a retirement, uh, once again, bittersweet. Uh, more sweet, I think, for uh, Officer Griffith and his family. Uh, Loki, and I think we put information there as far as what all he's been, uh, he's accomplished during his time with the police department. Uh, you, until you have had an opportunity uh, to have a partner, a canine partner, it's kind of hard to understand that bond. And I haven't had one, so I don't understand it, but I can tell by the way these guys talk about uh, that bond and that partnership that they have. Uh, this is due to a medical retirement. Uh, Loki is 
done a lot of good for the city and for the citizens of Muskogee. Uh, and it's only right, I think, that we allow that to be uh, him to uh, return and stay with his owner. I know the Griffith family, and uh, they are going to welcome him in for the remaining days. And, and uh, just a real neat story. Uh, Tyler also will get an opportunity to have another canine. Um, and at some point in the, in the future, I'll be coming to you to want another canine when we get our other uh, canine handler back uh, from deployment. So. Uh, be happy to answer any questions uh, otherwise and, and Loki's here in case you needed to talk to him or ask him anything. <laughs> <laughs> Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? <coughs> Roll call please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item number six passes. Can we get a picture, if you don't mind? All right. If Derek can get a picture of family and, and Loki, everybody that came up with him. Jamie's got me covered. All right, item six passed, and that is our final item for our finance committee. Welcome to tonight's Public Works Committee meeting, January 9th of 2023. Item number one, please. Consider approval of Public Works Committee minutes of December 5th, 2022, or take other necessary action. Well, I had time to review the minutes. Do we have a motion? Make approval. a motion. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item passes. Item number two, please. Consider approval of the lowest and best bid from Voy Construction for the Senior Station Repair Project in the amount of $33,094 or take other necessary action. Ms. Jennifer. <clears throat> Good evening. This project is to repair the exterior damage that occurred in late October due to a vehicle crash at the senior station on Okmulgee. We received two sealed bids and we are recommending the best and lowest to avoid construction and I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you. Do we have any discussion or a motion, please? Move for approval. Second. Second. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Pearland Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stow. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. The item passes. Item number three, please. Consider approval to ch consider approval of a change order to the digester rehabilitation contract at the wastewater treatment plant to include a repair to the recirculation pump for the trickling filter in the additional amount of $65,100 or take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Rigby. So this is a pump for the trickling filter at the wastewater treatment plant. We are currently working with Cook Consulting on the digester rehab project and this fits into the uh, parameters set out by the state to include this as a change order to the contract. Right now, we are using the backup recirculation pump. So under normal circumstances, we have redundancy, but with this pump being down, we're only relying on the backup. And it is an essential piece of equipment to the wastewater treatment plant to allow us to process waste. This item was approved by the purchasing committee and staff does recommend approval. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? Move for approval. Second. Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. 
Thank you. The item passes. Item number four, please. Consider the approval of the purchase of a new Whirlwind One Pure Vacuum Street Sweeper with single engine and dual <coughs> side brooms from JNR Equipment via the Sourcewell Cooperative Purchasing Agreement in the amount of $359,900.17 or take other necessary action. Mr. Rigby. So the current street sweeper we have is getting older and ending nearing the end of its useful life and we don't want the city to be without one because it's imperative to our stormwater maintenance and the aesthetics of our streets so we're going to purchase a new one with approval and this is a budgeted item and it's budgeted in stormwater due to the effects that has in making sure that the drains are not clogged up by debris on the streets there are several types of street sweepers and we've decided to go with the pure vacuum uh, due to the way our streets are set up, it will be the best for getting all the debris off the streets and not creating a dust cloud that goes behind the street sweeper. Uh, this item was approved at purchasing committee and staff recommends approval. Thank you. Any discussion? Move for approval. Second. Second. Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. The item passes. Item number five, please. Consider approval of the appointment of John Lang to the airport board, commencing upon appointment and expiring September 30, 2023, filling the unexpired term of Mike Stewart, or take other necessary action. Councilor. Yeah, this is um, my appointment. Johnny Lang is a, he lived here all of his life, moved away. Uh, he's a physician. He lived in Arkansas and he's been back at our VA hospital for probably about five years. And he grew up, his family, they all were pilots and he's been around. He has a real, he, he actually seeked me and said that he would like to be involved somehow. And I said, how about the airport board? And he goes, down my alley. So anyway, he would be a, a good, person good fit move for approval second roll call please Perlin Boyati Craig yes Shirley Hilton Flannery yes Tracy Hoos yes Tracy McGee yes Stephanie Jones yes Alex Reynolds yes Jamie Stout yes Deputy Mayor Derek Reed yes the item passes there is no citizens wishing to speak and I um, this concludes this meeting Special call meeting for the Muskogee City Council for January the 9th, 2023. Roll call, please. Mayor Marlon Coleman, Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Here. Jamie Stout. Here. Alex Reynolds. Here. Stephanie Jones. Here. Tracy McGee. Here. Tracy Hoos. Here. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Here. Perlin Boyati Craig. Here. Item number one, please. Recognize and honor Roy Tucker on the occasion of his last council meeting in his role as city attorney before he becomes a special district judge and take other necessary action. Well, this is my item. Uh, the night have come to, uh, and, and I'm glad that the agenda item does say or take other necessary action. We actually don't have to have to go through with this. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, uh, see, we got a motion and a second on that, but but today is Roy's uh, last day here with the council. Uh, Roy has been, uh, this is my, my secret name for him, he's been the glue stick. He's been the glue stick for the city of Muskogee. Those things that are broken, Roy always found a way to legally fix them, keep us in line. Whenever we went too far, he would always make sure that we stayed in bounds of uh, the legalities of, of municipal government. We're going to uh, sorely miss Roy uh, in this capacity. and. Just wanted to wish you well, Roy, and take this opportunity to, to uh, say hats off to you, give any other counselors any greetings that they would have. Uh, uh, if we were at a funeral, we would say only two minutes, and so I would, <laughs> we're not at a funeral, so I would say don't be long, but if any council would have any comments they would like to say at this time, and then we'll, we got to have a speech from you as well, Roy. Any counselors? I would like to say, Roy, it's been an honor working with you. Um, I was always able to come and you had an open door policy. So thank you for serving and being uh, kind. I'd like to say something, Roy. Thank you so much. Uh, you've made the time on the council interesting. Kept us in line best you can <laughs> and uh, been there for all of us and agree on that open door policy. And we sure do appreciate you. And we're awful excited about your new opportunity. Thank you. Thank yes. you. I would like to say thank you, Roy. You've been one of a kind. <laughs> uh, you've 
been just really, really a good friend. Thank and you. I appreciate that. So we'll be seeing you around town. And I don't want any appointments over there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, uh, first off, congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Um, if I'm ever standing before you, remember, I'm really happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when uh, uh, Deputy Mayor said the glue stick, I mean, it really is. Uh, he works really hard for, for us, and, and I appreciate, you know, you always taking the time to answer my text messages also, no, no matter how stupid they were. But thank you for answering them. Uh, we're going to miss you. Congratulations. Yes, it's going to be bittersweet yep. with you, you leaving it, but we're excited for your new opportunities and know you will succeed well. And just thank you for being our friend and thank you for being there for us. Congratulations, and we're just going to miss you. I'll come over and visit. All right, you can do that. <laughs> Congrats, and you're not done with us yet. No, <laughs> not at all, not at all. Uh, Deputy Mayor, uh, members of council, thank you so much for the kind words. This is truly been an honor. Um, some of you know that I have been uh, the city attorney for the last 10 years, but that I have been uh, with in the employee of the city for the last 15. Uh, for the first few years, I served as the assistant city attorney under Frank Medeiros and then John Vincent. And uh, when I was appointed as city attorney, it was up until this point, the happiest day of my life. Um, I have I never dreamed that I would meet so many selfless leaders who give of their time freely without compensation um, and guide this city the best way that they know how and who are all out of the box thinkers for how to move the city forward. You all have the best interests of the community and of the growth of our city at heart and don't any don't let anyone tell you otherwise because I know all of you do because you come to me with your plans and so hopefully I've given you some good advice in that regard uh, and so you know I do want to express my appreciation to you all as well as the councils and uh, mayors before uh, before you uh, Councilor Van is, is in the audience and he was wonderful to work with for the years that he was on the council, and I'm grateful that he has uh, appeared tonight uh, to support me. So thank you, uh, former Councilor Van. Um, and the other thing I will say is, you know, serving in the judiciary is something that I have wanted to do my entire legal career. And so to be bestowed with this honor from the district judges who, who chose me, Judge King, and Judge Smith is uh, uh, just a wonderful honor. And I assure you that I will not let them down. All right. And so um, I, I do want to say thanks once again and how uh, it has been such a great pleasure for me to be uh, your counsel for these last few years. So uh, my office will just be across the, across the street. So I hope that you will come see me sometime in an unofficial capacity. <laughs> so, <laughs> with that, Deputy Mayor, I'll turn the floor back over to you. Thank you. And I just would like to uh, announce that Roy's last day is the 20th, I believe. That's correct. And so we do plan on having a, a reception for him before he leaves. But tonight, uh, this is his official last city council meeting. So we want to take time out to say thank you. Roy said something that was unique. Whenever we get elected, we come up with all these ideas of how we're going to move and change the world. I've never met a man who can tell you no in such a kind of way than Roy Tucker has. <laughs> and so uh, once again, Roy, once we applaud you and we wish you well on your new endeavors. Thank you. And one thing final before we move on, Deputy Mayor, um, you all have received an announcement to my uh, swearing in. So just I wanted to publicly say that my swearing in will be February 3rd at 4.30 in courtroom 6 in the Muskogee County Courthouse. So uh, please come. There will be a reception following. So all right. thank you. Two opportunities for every van to get some cake. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on to the next item. Item number two, please. Consider approval of the appointment of Cynthia Kennedy to the Planning and Zoning Commission to serve a three-year term, filling the expired term of Stacey Alexander beginning December 1, 2022 and ending on November 30, 2025, or take other necessary action. Okay, so these next two items that we will present, they were on our public work and finance 
agendas, but they never appeared on our public uh, city council agendas, and so that's why we're bringing them back uh, on this agenda. So, Ms. Morgan, Councilor Morgan. Yes, I Jones. do believe that Miss um, Cindy Kennedy would be an excellent asset to this planning and zoning, and that's my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item number two passes. Item number three, please. Consider approval of the appointment of Alfred Walker to the Wellness Initiative to serve a four-year term beginning December 1, 2022 and ending November 30, 2026, or take other necessary action. One more time, Councilor. Uh, this is my agenda item. Um, Alfred is a great person and he's a great role model for our young people to look up to. And I'm very honored to uh, put him up as my motion for the board of the wellness initiative. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item number four, please. Consider an executive session to discuss and take possible action on the following. A, pursuant to Section 307B2, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, consider convening an executive session to discuss negotiations with the Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge Number 95, and if necessary, take appropriate action in open session. B, pursuant to Section 307B4, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, consider convening an executive session to discuss the workers' compensation of Morris Baxter, and if necessary, take appropriate action in open session. C, pursuant to Section 307B4, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, consider convening an executive session to discuss potential litigation related to KW Premier Properties, and if necessary, take appropriate action in open session. D, pursuant to Section 307B1, Oklahoma Statutes, consider convening an executive session to discuss the appointment of Deputy City Attorney Katrina Bodenhammer to fill the position of City Attorney, as well as conditions of employment thereto, and if necessary, take appropriate action in open session, including but not limited to approval of an employment agreement. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to go into executive session. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. We will consider ourselves an executive session. Those who are not on the agenda items, if you would please dismiss yourself from the chambers. Back in order for my executive session. Roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Here. Jamie Stout. Here. Alex Reynolds. Here. <clears throat> Excuse me, Stephanie Jones. Here. Tracy McGee. Here. Tracy Hoos. Here. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Here. Berlin Boyati Craig. Here. One more time, Mr. Roy Tucker. All right. Um, item 4A, pursuant to Section 307B2, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes. The Council did convene an executive session to discuss negotiations with the Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge Number 95. After being briefed on uh, an item of negotiation, I think an appropriate motion would be to approve the MOU between the City of Muskogee and the FOP Lodge Number 95, uh, providing for the Chief's Fit Challenge. Move for approval. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Item 4B, pursuant to Section 307B4, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, the Council convened an executive session to discuss the ongoing workers' compensation claim of Morris Baxter. After being briefed on the status of that claim, I think an appropriate motion would be to authorize the City Attorney to negotiate a settlement of the claim of Morris Baxter within the parameters set forth in executive session 
and if, and if uh, the city attorney is successful in his negotiations to <clears throat> take whatever necessary action and complete whatever documents are necessary to settle the workers comp case move for approval second. second we have a motion in the second to approve item b any discussion roll call please Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Uh, item 4C, pursuant to Section 307B4, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes. Uh, the Council did convene an executive session to discuss potential litigation related to KW Premier Properties. After being briefed on the status of that potential claim and that potential litigation, uh, an appropriate action would be to authorize the City Attorney to negotiate a settlement on the potential claim of KW uh, Premier Properties within the terms discussed in executive session uh, and um, authorize and if uh, a negotiation is successful authorize the mayor to execute the same and authorize the um, cancellation of the uh, previous economic development agreement move for approval second I have a motion and a second to approve uh, item 4c any discussion roll call please Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, item 4D, pursuant to Section 307B1, uh, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes. Uh, the council did convene an executive session to discuss the appointment of Deputy City Attorney Katrina Bodenhammer to fill the position of City Attorney, as well as conditions of employment thereafter. Uh, after meeting an executive session to discuss the qualifications of Ms. Bodenhammer, I think an appropriate motion would be to appoint Katrina Bodenhammer as City Attorney in accordance with City Charter. Chart, excuse me in accordance with the city charter uh, for an effective date of January 20th and to further to approve the employment agreement concerning the same. Move for approval. approval. Second. I have a motion in, in <laughs> several seconds. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Herlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Tracy Hoos. Yes. Tracy McGee. Yes. Stephanie Jones. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. All right. That concludes tonight's City Council Special Call meeting. We are adjourned.